Hey guys, this is Steph Mistruck with KillerPHP.com and KillerSites.com. In this little video, I want to uh, answer a couple questions that were put to me by somebody uh, with regards to PHP and the business of PHP. And uh, so this is going to be a new format. I used to answer all these by email, but I figure, you know, video is kind of fun, so we'll see how it goes. So this is a question put to me by a guy named uh, Darren. We have three questions. So first question, what is the best form to learn? Just PHP or Zen, PHP or what? So he wants to know whether or not he should learn PHP and or PHP Zen or something else. So let me just start by saying that PHP is the foundation language and Zen, Zen PHP, the Zen framework I think he's referring to, well I know he's referring to the Zen framework, is something that sits on top of PHP. So here's PHP and here's the Zen framework. The Zen framework is basically a library of PHP code that's designed to speed up the whole process of creating PHP uh, applications or PHP based programs. So do you need to learn Zen? Not necessarily. Is it useful to learn Zen? Big time, because once you understand basic PHP, learning Zen is going to take your level of understanding of PHP to a much higher level, and it's going to uh, make writing more sophisticated programs much, much easier. At the same time, you're going to learn um, the fundamentals and the basics of advanced software architecture. So what does that mean? That means that you're going to learn skill sets when you learn Zen that are going to be applicable to any programming language out there. Zen focuses on um, coding structures, if you will, and architecture that's applied in Ruby, in the Java world, and the C-sharp world to a certain extent. Well, to a lesser extent. So the point is, by learning Zen, you're just going to make yourself a much better programmer overall. So the first thing to do is you learn your PHP, and you can do that at KillerPHP.com. Once you get the basics of PHP under your belt, then you can slowly start diving into Zen. Zen's pretty complex, but there's also a lot of useful libraries that you can just pull out right out of the box and use it right away. So I highly recommend PHP, then move on to Zen if you want to do more hardcore PHP programming. The second question is, is it worth becoming certified in a language? Uh, if so, what is the best way to go about it? Uh, I addressed this in a previous video, so I'm just going to be brief about this. Certification helps if you're looking to work for a larger company, if you're, if you're looking to be a freelancer. From my uh, experience over the last several years, well, since, since the uh, mid-90s, nobody asks you whether or not you're certified. That said, certification uh, will also help you polish your skill sets because they'll force you to learn things you might not otherwise learn. And finally, uh, where to go for certification? Personally, I don't know everybody that's out there, but I'd probably go with the Zen people, Z-E-N-D. Why? Because they're the people who sort of manage PHP. They run PHP. They, they, they release the new versions. So you get certified from then, you're getting certified from the source. And from what I hear, they got very good learning materials. Next question. Uh, what does the future of PHP look like in the web 2.0 world? I think PHP for the foreseeable future is going to be the server-side programming language, pretty much. Uh, you know. Cold Fusion and Ruby and the, the .NET stuff and the Java stuff, that's always going to have their place. But when it comes to general web development, web 2.0 stuff, I think PHP is going to be the standard just because it's, it's proven, it's reliable, it's powerful, it's very capable. And this is not an opinion based on, you know, my personal likes or dislikes for PHP. I've written software in eight or nine languages over the years. You know, I'll jump around depending on whatever I feel is best for a given project. That said, the proof is in, you know, in what's being used today. If you look out there, many of the major products and projects out there are all written in PHP. 
that includes uh, uh, Facebook, that included YouTube, if, if I recall, that include popular blogs like WordPress, uh, CMSs like Drupal, many of the forums that are out there they are all written in PHP because of all the reasons I just mentioned. So yes, when it comes to 2.0, PHP is going to be the language that powers the uh, web pages from behind the scenes. And the final question is, how long does it take uh, for somebody to become proficient enough in PHP to, to, to start providing services? Uh, <laughs> that depends on where, you, you know, where you're starting from. If you're somebody who has a bit of programming ability from another language, another server-side language, uh, like Java or, you know, of course, you know, if you know Java, you won't be asking this question. But you get the idea. If you have a background in another language, you can probably get up and running doing PHP within you know, a couple of days. Uh, if you're learning PHP fresh, you've never done programming before, you can probably see yourself starting to offer basic PHP programming after about 10 to 20 hours of training. You know, and, you know basic stuff. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there that's not hard to learn how to do in PHP. That's one of the beauties of the language. So yeah, you can start providing sellable PHP services very, very quickly. For instance, shopping carts, implementing shopping carts with PHP is pretty simple. And you don't have to build it from scratch. There are open source shopping cart projects out there, meaning free to use or nearly free to use, uh, that you could take, modify, you don't, need, you don't need as much skill to modify them as opposed to building from scratch and implement them, use them in your sites, in your client's projects. For instance, I mentioned WordPress recently. You know, WordPress is based on PHP. A lot of people will come to you wanting some blogging type capabilities or some content management type of capabilities. So what you do is you take a WordPress or a Drupal, which are both written in PHP, and having that PHP knowledge will make it easy for you to go in there and make little changes to it to tweak its functionality, the way it works or the way it looks, so that you can you know, offer this to your clients. So yeah, PHP in terms of um, a marketable skill set, it, it comes back to you real quickly in terms of you know being able to offer what you sell to uh, to your prospective clients. That's it. Uh, this covers these uh, four questions. I hope you guys find it useful. This is the very first of a new format that I'm trying out where you, you get to see me, for better or for worse. And I answer questions that are put to me by various people on whether it be PHP, web design, etc. I hope you liked it. My name is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.